Hi everyone, welcome to Teach Tech. I am back again with a new video. In this video, I am going to show you how to do Harvard referencing in Microsoft Word. I am going to teach you Harvard referencing for website, for journal article, and for books. So, to begin with, first of all, let's open our document. In this document, I have taken content from a website, from a book, and from a journal article. Now, I need to add the hover referencing for all these contents. To add the references, first of all, go to this reference option. Make sure in the style option, hover is selected. You can go to this drop down and select this hover. Now, to add the referencing for the content for our website, always remember to add references. We have to add it before full stop. So, always select your cursor before the full stop. Now, to add the referencing for the website content, first of all, let's look at the website that I have used. I have used this website and I have taken the content from this website and written over here. Now, to add the referencing for the content of website, click on Insert Citation and click on Add New Source. You can see this form. We have to fill this form to add the references. So, first of all, the type of source should be website because this content is taken from a website. You can see numerous option. Out of this option, select website. You have to write the author's name over here. If you click on this bar, you can see the example. Author is the person who have created or who have written the content in the website. Let's go to website and see if there is the author name. This is only the name of person who have written this quote. I think there is no name of the author. In that case, we need to now go to this corporate author option. By default, this option is not selected. In case, if you have the author name, always give priority to author name. In case, if you don't have the author name written in the website, select this corporate author name. Now. In this option, you have to enter the name of an organization or corporation to which that particular website belongs to. If you go to this website, at the bottom of the page, you always see a copyright symbol. And in that copyright symbol, you can see the name of the organization as SAS Institute Incorporation. So, write this name on here as corporate author. So, SAS Institute space incorporation now in the name of web page portion you have to write the name of web page the most easiest way to find the name of the web page is to click on this add bookmark option you get this name this name is the web page name so just do copy and paste it In the year section, you have to write the year on which that particular content was created. Let's see if there is any date. There is no any date information, so you can just write the current year. Today's date is 2021 October 24. So I'm going to give the year value as 2021. If there is the year value in the website, you can just write that particular year value. The year on which I have accessed this website. It is again 2021. In month, you have to write the month name as October because today is October 24. The day on which I have accessed this is 24th. And on this URL bar, you have to just copy this link do copy it down and paste it. In this way, we have filled up the information. So now click on OK. 
you can see the referencing has been added. Similarly, let's add the referencing for the content of a book. I have taken this content from a book which is this machine learning for humans. So now let's add the Harvard referencing for book. Again, click your cursor before this full stop. Now click on this insert citation and click on this add new source. Now instead of selecting the website, select the book. In author, give the name of the author of the book. So let me go to the book and see on the cover page if it has the name of its author. So this is the name of author which says Bisal Maini and Samir Sabri. So let me add. In the title, give the name of the title of the book, which is Machine Learning for Humans. So it is the year on which this book was published. So let's see on the book if it has the date information. It says published on August 19, 2017. So give the value as 2017. If the information about the city is given, you can write that as well. I don't think it's given over here. So you can just left it blank. In the name of publisher, now give the name of publisher of the book. As a matter of surprise, I couldn't find the name of the publisher for this book. But if you go on to other books like this one, you can just see the name of the publisher which is Cisco Press. So normally the name of publisher is easily given on the book. You can write the name of that particular publisher if you have in the book. So right now I don't have the publisher name on the book that I have taken in consideration. So I am going to leave it blank. But I am sure if you see closely on your particular book, you could find the publisher name. Now also in the edition part, if you find the edition value, you can see this is the third edition book. Again, I couldn't find the edition number in my book, the book that I have considered. So I am not going to write any value right here. But if you see these kind of values, like third edition, go ahead and just write as third in edition part. Click on OK. You can see the referencing for book is also added. Now let's go and see about the referencing for journal article. Again put your cursor before full stop. Now go to this insert citation and click on add new source. It's the same process. Now in type of source you have to select the journal article option. You can see the journal article option right here. The journal that I am taking into consideration is this journal. So let's see the information that I have to add. The first information is about the author. There are four authors of this journal. Let's give the name as one by one. While writing the author name, write the last name first and just give the initial letter of the first name. For example, just write Marne space S. Now, in the section of the title, write this title predicting price of cryptocurrency of deep learning approach
Now in the journal name, if you see the journal name, you can write the journal name. So I think the journal name for this is this value NTASU space 2020 conference proceeding. Now give the year value on which this journal was published. So you can see a special issue 2021. This means it is published on 2021 and give the value as 2021. And now give the number of pages from which you have taken the references. Right now, I have just taken the reference from this abstract. But if you have taken the references from multiple pages of this particular document, you have to mention all the page number. For example, right now I have only taken the reference from the first page. Therefore, I will write only page number one. But if you have taken the reference from as a document as a whole, you have to write one, two, seven. And right now I'm going to give the value as one. Let's see the volume of this particular journal. This is volume nine, issue three give the value as volume 9. Volume should be written in the Roman format which is IX which represents 9 and the issue is 3. So we have filled the information for journal article. Now click on OK. We have added the references for website, for books and for journal articles. We have not seen references till now. For that, let's go to the new page and right here in the option inside references, you can see this bibliography drop down. If you click on this drop down, you can see bibliography, references or works cited. If you want to add the bibliography in your document, click on this bibliography. If you want to add the references, click on this references. And if you want to add the works cited, you can click on this works cited. Right now, I want only the references part. So let me delete this bibliography section. Okay. So as you keep on adding the references as like the same process, you can always go to the down page on the references and click on this update citations and bibliography. If you click on this, then these references will be updated as you keep on adding more and more references. You can always manage this all references later on as well. If you want to manage this all references, you can go to this manage sources and you can see the current list. These are all the references that I have added till now in Microsoft Office. This is listed on master list. Anytime if you want to use all those older references, you can just click and click on copy. Just right now, I don't want this. So I can again select it from current list and delete always. This is how you can manage the sources as well. With this process, you can add the Harvard referencing for the content that is referenced from any website, books or journal article. I hope this video was very much useful for you. You can always go and watch other same tutorial videos on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will keep on uploading these kind of new videos. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you on the next one. Have a good day.